I'll try to deliver it with the same enthusiasm as I did in the uh, pre-recorded and yesterday. So I'll dive right in. Um, so the research team on this project obviously consisted of myself, um, Dr. Julian Aran, who is a weevil taxonomist based at CIRAD, uh, Prof. Pia and Prof. Malan, uh, who obviously need no introduction from my side, uh, and then a whole lot of CIRAD and INRA uh, collaborators at Montpellier in France who were a key part of this, this project from a taxonomical point. Okay, so Flectinus calosus sensulatu is a, a species complex of approximately eight cryptic species of um, native intermine weevils or short-nosed weevils. Uh, they're native to the Cape Floristic region of South Africa. Now, of these eight uh, cryptic species, two, uh, Flectinus calosus sensu strictu and Flectinus uh, zerophilus are known as the banded fruit weevils and are economically significant pests uh, of deciduous fruit, grapevines, and berries, um, causing both primary damage, as you can see on the bottom uh, um, left and middle, uh, and also being a phytosanitary uh, concern. Uh, as Renata mentioned, uh, you can see a weevil on the bottom right hiding in a, in a bunch of grapes. So the current uh, control strategies consists of integration of physical, cultural, and chemical methods. Uh, I feel Prof. Milan and Letari have teed me up quite well with microbial biological control. So microbial biological control with entomopathogenic nematodes and fungi uh, are emerging and, and in development on this pest. Um, now what's quite important to understand is that the spores of the fungi can't physically move and locate and find insects. So they're a good target, uh, or the flightless adults who are mobile above the soil are a good target. Uh, for intermepathogenic fungi, uh, while the soil living larvae and pupae um, are a good target for the nematodes as the nematodes can physically uh, find the insects uh, under the soil level. So for the uh, intermepathogenic fungi, we tested two isolates of Puveria, including Puveria bassiana PPRI 5339, which is the active ingredient to the product broadband. Uh, in spite of encouraging results uh, being found on this isolate previously, um, our study showed low and variable mortality, uh, which brings into question the economic viability of actually using this product to, to manage uh, weevils in deciduous fruit and, and vineyards. Uh, however, we found a high level of native intimopathogenic nematode infection of genera like Beaveria and Metarisium on the weevils. Uh, some of this infection is probably latent, but some is also probably acute. Uh, you do find weevil cadavers covered with fungus quite often in the field, and it would be interesting to know to what level do, do they control um, them naturally in these agroecosystems. Okay, so for the nematodes, we used uh, Murray's uh, Steinonema yergolomensa mass-produced nematodes. Uh, screened the insects uh, against them at 200 infective juveniles, which are the infective stage, uh, per insect for the larvae, and 150 infective juveniles per insect for the uh, pupae. Uh, after 48 hours, infection and mortality was assessed, um, with larvae having uh, about 27 to 55% mortality by infection, uh, and the pupae having about that or even higher at, at less uh, concentrations of nematodes, so the pupae are more susceptible uh, under lab conditions. Um, we also took these insects into the field, uh, rearing weevil pupae in the lab of both species. Uh, they were buried in these mesh uh, tubes, as you can see on the left-hand side of the screen, um, in the orchard floor, uh, so that's ecologically relevant, and they were exposed for 96 hours uh, to our nematodes. Uh, we got a reasonable level of control after that time period, with 50% being considered adequate for the field. Uh, what's quite important to note is that um, weevil larvae occur for quite a long time in the soil, for, for one or two months actually. So as long as the nematode persists in the soil, the, um, the, the nematode can actually act against, against the larvae. Uh, and there were a bit of difference between our two weevil species, uh, which we did not see in the, in the laboratory. Uh, so in conclusion, adult weevils are resistant to all of the microbials we tested, um, which calls for semi-field trials with registered products to be conducted so that we can better understand the mechanism of action and the level of control we can expect. Uh, we need to find isolates with higher virulence against adults. Uh, Stanonema ergolomens has potential for controlling larvae and potentially pupae under field conditions. Uh, and naturally occurring native microbials do infect the weevils uh, naturally under field conditions, and it would be interesting to know to what extent 
and how can we harness these uh, through conservation biological control for, for um, suppression to be, to be achieved. Uh, I wish to thank the following people and institutions uh, and the audience for listening to this talk. Thanks.